the modified Kessler can be left as a two-stranded repair or continued and made a four-stranded repair. You start as always with a one centimeter straight bite. Turn the needle around. This is followed by a transverse bite all the way across the tendon. You finish with a straight bite, mirroring the first, but starting far and ending in the middle at the site of the cut two tendon ends. Repeat these steps. A straight bite, one centimeter in length. Suture across the width of the whole tendon. A straight bite ending back in the middle of the two cut ends. Tying at this point would make this a two-stranded repair. I want a four-stranded repair. So I will repeat the process, placing the stitches before my previous. A one centimeter straight bite, a bite across the width of the tendon, a straight bite ending in the middle of the two cut ends, and then I do the same on the opposite side. You tie your knots tight enough to make the finger look how it should at rest. This is pointing towards the thena eminence, but not fully clenched. You perform your epitendinous suture around this core repair to tidy up the repair site. The epitendinous suture adds 20% more strength. Tie your knots in parallel to the cut at 90 degrees to the tendon direction. Ensure your suture ends alternate after each knot. As this is a monofilament suture, you need to tie between four and six knots. <laughs> 